So we're going to talk about PDF accessibility. We're going to check for it in two different ways. One is by highlighting the text and the other is by running a full check. Highlighting text you can do on a reader or on the Pro version. While running a full check you have to use Adobe Acrobat Pro. It doesn't matter if you're on a Macintosh or a Windows machine. Adobe Acrobat Pro works, looks the same across those two platforms. So let's jump into highlighting the text. So if we're trying to pull a quote from it and we're highlighting our text on an inaccessible text, it'll just draw a box. So here we've drawn a box, it doesn't highlight any of the text, it doesn't have anything to go off of. If we try to select harder, sometimes we'll highlight the entire page. This is an image, it has no underlying text, and we don't know what to do with it. Sometimes if you open up the tool pane and you're in Adobe Acrobat Pro, it'll prompt you saying, I'm, I know this has no underlying text, can I try to run OCR to do it? OCR is optical character recognition, which creates underlying text. If it prompts you for that, you should probably let it do that. So, moving on to an accessible document. If we try to highlight a quote, it'll actually wrap around the paragraphs and highlight the text. This says there's underlying text. It doesn't mean that it's accessible, but it does have the first step you need to worry about. So, we're in Adobe Acrobat Pro and we're gonna try to run the full check. So you go to View, down to Tools, and then you run Accessibility or you press on the accessibility tool. It'll pop up as a pane on the right side of your window. It's the second option, which is full check. By pressing on this, it'll pull up a window that looks generally like this. My settings are a little large to make it clear, um, but I don't change anything. I will just press enter to run it. It'll jump up a tool pane on the left side of your document, showing all the different tests it ran and the results. So check marks, marks indicate that it passed, X's indicate failure, and a question mark indicates a need for someone to manually check it. Computers can't read, so they need somebody else to make sure that the document is laid out the way you would expect it to be. So these are just the first kind of steps you would run to see whether or not your document is accessible in the first place before taking steps to make it accessible.